And now Trump is being goaded on in this sadistic plan to put profits over lives by CEOs, economic advisors, and fringe characters on the right who are actually suggesting that it might be worth letting some people die in order to save the economy. The president is right. The cure can't be worse than the disease. And we're going to have to make some difficult trade-offs within a very few weeks, let those with a lower risk to the disease return to work. My message is that um, uh, let's get back to work. Let's get back to living. Let's be smart about it. Uh, and those of us who are 70 plus, we'll, we'll take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country. I'm in the danger zone. I would rather have my children stay home and all of us who are over 50 go in and keep this economy going and working. Even if we all get sick, I'd rather die than kill the country. Oh, good. Glenn Death Panel's Beck is back. You know, divorce Santa Claus over here. I guess it's easy to take that stance when you've been socially distancing from people for five years. Remember when he pretended to hate Trump for like a second as a marketing ploy and a bunch of people helped rehabilitate him? And now he's on TV saying if you're old, you should be willing to sacrifice yourself for the sake of Carnival Cruise's stock price. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna take public health advice from a dude who looks like Colonel Sanders, but instead of chicken, it's just buckets of bull <laughs> Let's not forget, during the Obama administration, Beck, this same Beck, famously repeated the death panel's line, accused Democrats of wanting to kill people simply by expanding access to health care. End of life care. Let me translate bull crap to English. End of life care, night night, Grammy, pulling the old plug. Glenn Beck accused Democrats of wanting to pull the plug on Grammy. Now, 10 years later, he's saying the stock market's down. Grammy's got to go. If you're over 60 and you're related to Glenn Beck and you see him holding a pillow near your face, run. Seriously, I can't believe these psychos are saying old people would rather die than sit inside and watch Netflix for a few weeks. You're boomers. You're supposed to love TV, watching TV. That's what you love. CBS needs to air an emergency marathon of Blue Bloods ASAP just to keep these people preoccupied. You know Blue Bloods. Stars the uh, reverse mortgage guy. Why would I lie to you? Just get a reverse mortgage. I'm not gonna take your house.